Well, at the moment, um, concerning my business, I'm a, a sole businessman, I'm a, I'm a craftsman, and uh, work on my own. Um, at the moment, legislation is getting absolutely impossible. Um, it's restricting what I do, um, and it, it's the sort of thing that uh, the government's passing at the moment that is affecting all small businesses and putting an extra burden on them. Can you give me an example of, of uh, such legislation? One, one of the examples is um, this music. If I have in my workshop, and I do have one, a radio for my own personal use, for me to listen to the radio while I'm working, I've now been told that no, you cannot have that radio in your workshop unless you have a license, just in case just in case, mind, just in case someone from the general public should come into your workshop. Now, that sort of legislation to me does not make any sense at all and does not help any small businessman like me who's working on his own, sometimes in isolation, may not see anyone from one week to the next. But because there's a radio in his workshop, it's a business, then he is going to have to pay for a licence. And to me that is wrong. Well, at the moment, um, with what I'm experiencing, uh, I think they're doing the opposite. They're putting restrictions on us, left, right and centre. Um, we're having to pay out for one thing or another, licence for my trailer if I want to take my scrap to the scrap merchant, which I do possibly once a year. Um, personally, my business involves making artefacts that now I cannot send through the post because they are illegal. Um, and it's things like that. And there are others, I, I know other small businesses where one person, he's been driving a lorry for 50 years, he's had to go on a week's course, pay for that course, so that he can get a certificate, so that he can drive his lorry. You know, things like that, they're, they're getting a bit out of hand and, and I'm concerned that no, they're not doing their best for small businesses.